I've gotten comments in my videos asking me if the Nissan Navara is the most comfortable pickup truck in the Philippines today. Well, dude, pare, I've been driving the Nissan Navara Pro 4X here for the past week. And in this video, we are going to find out. Let's do this. Comfort. To most people, it means ride quality. For me, vehicle comfort means several things, with ride quality just being one of them. Engine power as well as cabin features also play a huge role when deciding how comfortable a vehicle is, at least in my book. The top-spec Nissan Navara Pro 4X has locked in all of those areas quite well at a price that is also comfortable to the wallet. Coming in at 1,811,000 Philippine pesos, the Navara Pro 4X is one of the most affordable 4x4 midsize pickup trucks in the segment. But just how comfortable is the Navara Pro 4X and better yet, how does it stack up against its newer rivals? Let's find out. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. Alright, the Navara Pro 4X. While this Navara platform has been around since 2014, the Pro 4X trim was only unveiled last 2020 so this, my friends, is essentially the newest Navara available here in the Philippines. Now, it's also one of two mid-size pickup trucks uh, that come with a coilover or coil spring rear suspension, with the other truck being the, well, the venerable Ford Ranger Raptor. Now, to answer the question, you know, I get this question a lot in my comments. Uh, which one has a more comfortable ride? Is it the Ford Ranger? Or is it this Navara Pro 4X? Well, dude, I'm going to answer that question right now. See, I find that the new Ford Ranger Wild Track 4x4 has a tad bit more comfortable suspension uh, than this Navara Pro 4X. Although, to be fair, to be fair to this Navara Pro 4X, dude, that new Ford Ranger is newer and it's also more expensive. See, the biggest difference between this Navara Pro 4X and that Ranger Wild Track 4x4 is that this Navara feels heftier to drive. You know, it feels like a heavy truck. While, yeah, while its competitor is light all around and it's, it's overly boosted, in fact. Now, as for the engine performance, though, this Navara Pro 4X has a healthy amount of power uh, accessible to it. You see, we still get the same engine and transmission combo here found in the top-spec Nissan Terra VL 4x4, which is a 2.5-liter turbo diesel engine uh, that puts out a healthy 188 horses and 450 newton meters of torque. Now, all of that power uh, can drive all four wheels through the same 7-speed automatic transmission. As I said, dude, it's a healthy power output and you can truly feel the thrust uh, when you are accelerating in this truck i mean check it out see we're accelerating now ah yeah and you can also hear that loud engine noise when you are accelerating the good thing though is uh, well fuel economy is as expected from a mid-size pickup truck around 8.7 kilometers per liter in the city and uh, 14 kilometers per liter on the highway now, aside from the acceleration performance and that healthy amount of torque and horsepower, what, you know, what I really like about this Navara Pro 4X is just how macho it feels to drive. I mean, looking out on the windshield, you see that you've got a really big and bulging hood there. And the steering feel of this vehicle is really hefty. You know, it, it doesn't feel like you're driving a sissy face crossover. I mean, you're driving a macho truck and yeah, this truck makes you feel like you're driving a macho lifestyle truck. 
that can go anywhere you want to go. The macho vibe doesn't just stay with the drive feel, but extends all the way out to the exterior look of the Nissan Navara Pro 4X. I mean, dude pare, this may be a mid-size pickup truck, but the way that they designed the, the bulging hood right here and this large matte black V-Motion front grille that even extends to overlap over the hood, I mean, yeah, it really gives it that, that full-size pickup truck look. I mean, I'd even go as far as saying that the Navara Pro 4X looks like it's the bulkiest, like it's the bulkiest looking mid-size pickup truck that comes from a Japanese car maker, at least here in the Philippines. Now, it's further accentuated by the fact that we've got these rectangular LED headlight units here that also have these quad LED headlight units that's similar to the one found in the Terra. And the, the way that they designed the front bumper with its squared off flares here for the fog light housing as well as the design of this front bumper overrider yeah it gives the Navara Pro 4X uh, front mug really that uh, beefy and macho look uh, that it really looks like a big boy the side profile further enhances the Pro 4X macho look with a set of over fenders here some robust looking blacked out roof rails up top plus 17-inch blacked-out alloy wheels. Now, if you'll notice, these uh, blacked-out alloy wheels are wrapped in Yokohama Geolander all-terrain tires. Plus, uh, this 4x4 mid-size truck is also equipped with Nissan's Active Brake Limited Slip System, which is a form of uh, traction control. However, more importantly though, we also have an electronically locking rear differential here. So that makes the Pro 4X a truly capable off-roader. Those other um, numbers here include a 220 millimeter ground clearance as well as a 600 millimeter flood wading depth. One sign that the Navara lineup is due for a major refresh or even a full generation change is the cabin layout itself. I mean, the Navara may share the same platform and mechanical bits with the Nissan Terra. But this Pro 4X cabin here is more dated and really hasn't changed since 2014. Now that means that we get large areas of hard-wearing plastics here uh, from the dashboard uh, to the door cards there. I mean, true, we also get these nice-looking leather wrap, zero-gravity seats up front. But if you'll check it out, you'll see that these uh, front seats are still manually adjustable. Now, as for the infotainment system, it's, a, it's an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system here, which is a bit on the small side, especially when you compare it to the newer mid-size pickup trucks in this segment. Uh, however, it's still uh, fully, uh, fully equipped because we have Apple CarPlay, we have Android Auto, as well as the image of a 360-degree view camera, which Nissan calls a round view monitor. Now, don't get me wrong here, guys. I mean, this is still a fully functional cabin. It's simple, it's straightforward, and it will deliver in the relevant areas of the drive. It's just that well, I've seen the new layout and the cabin materials used in the Nissan Terra, and I am hoping that this Navara Pro 4X will also receive that same interior update, um, hopefully pretty soon. Thankfully though, the Pro 4X has a good set of safety features. While I would have wanted adaptive cruise control here, the Nissan Intelligent Mobility System of the Navara Pro 4X is still good enough to give me and my family peace of mind. Now, when it comes to the NVH, this Navara is also equipped with the same acoustic glass for the windshield and the front windows. I first saw that in the Nissan Terra VL 4x4. So that means that highway noise, I mean, we're on the highway now, we're on an elevated highway, and highway noise is cut to a minimum, which is good. The thing is, yeah, despite that acoustic glass, dude, yeah, when you're accelerating in the Navara Pro 4X, that engine noise is still very noticeable inside the cabin. I, I find it kind of weird because it sounds louder than the engine noise that I encountered with the Nissan Terra VL 4x4. 
kind of weird. However, you know that um, that loud diesel engine noise that comes in, yeah, it just tells you that you have an old yet extremely reliable engine underneath that hood because dude yeah it's one of the noisier diesel engines out there now let's check out the back seat to see just how comfortable the ride is at the back all right dude pare so as i said well the navara pro 4x really has a comfortable ride and i can say the same for its back seat I mean, this, my friends, is as comfortable as, let's say, any Japanese mid-size SUV out there. Now, mind you, I said SUV and not mid-size pickup truck because the Navara's ride is, yeah, equivalent to, um, to an SUV already. I mean, it is that good, at least a Japanese mid-size SUV. Uh, it's not as harsh and as stiff as the other Japanese mid-size trucks out there, and in fact, I can even play around with my cell phone here and not get dizzy at all. When it comes to the cargo carrying capacity, the Navara Pro 4X may not have leaf springs for its rear suspension, but dude, it is still quite a capable cargo hauler. You see, we can still carry a max payload of over a thousand kilos here, which is good enough for a pair of dirt bikes which can be secured with these uh, utility track uh, hooks found on the side. Now we also have a bed liner here as you can see in this media unit, but this bed liner is still an optional accessory for the Nissan Navara, at least here in the Philippines. Despite its aging platform when compared to its competitors, the Nissan Navara Pro 4X still manages to keep up. It still has the power, tech, comfort, and performance that can rival the other truck contenders in its segment. If you can look past the dated interior and the slightly louder diesel engine noise, then the Navara Pro 4X is still a solid option in the hotly contested midsize pickup truck category. Thanks for watching.